here's a fun bit of sound design history. Uh, sampling holds were extensively used as a compositional tool in a lot of early 8-bit video games. The Game Boy being a prime example of this. These game cartridges have got a very low memory capacity compared to modern standards, and very often the game composer would be left with mere kilobytes to store all the audio assets for these games. You can hear the sheer number of sound assets in this game alone. Every ship's got its own sound, there's weapons, there's explosions, there's the startup noise, there's game over noises. Uh, you can imagine the memory will be used up very quickly if each of these is saved as an individual sequence of notes. Um, so if you use a sample and hold, instead of storing an entire sequence block, you just boil it down to three variables. So you have the frequency of your starting oscillator. You have the rate of your sampled signal and the rate of your clock. And changing the ratio between these signals to the sample and hold, you get an infinite array of usable sounds. Some of you may have seen this before as it's from my video 13 patches for better sample and hold and track and hold. And that video is full of applications for these techniques for Yororack, but you can apply them way beyond a modular system. And I just wanted to share this video as I figured some of you may have missed it. And I think it's an interesting nugget of synth history. See you next time. Bye.